guys, welcome to our channel. In this channel we discuss electric vehicles, the one we're working on and what kind of issues you may have, how to fix them, how things work. Today we will discuss Tesla panoramic roof. There's not a lot of information about them, so we decided to make a video so you can learn. Alright, so today we have roof here. We got this roof just to try a few things and tell you how it works, how it's designed. Apparently Tesla had three different types of roof. And um, if you have the older model S, which is basically 2012, 13, 14 or 15, you probably will have roof 1.0, which basically comes with a side kick like this. The side panel, you probably can tell by it that it's actually 1.0 roof. Tesla was making those roofs from beginning until June 15, 2015. So now, next roof was 2.1. That 2.1 is actually coming with a different side panel. You can see on the other side, it is 2.1. They did move the covers closer to the center and it's a bit harder to open them. But as you can see, um, those panels, ooh, this one doesn't work. <laughs> see, we're having fun. Uh, let me try to open this one. Uh, wow, I think they stuck. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> we can open them. All right, anyways, um, they did redesign the roof. You can ask yourself why they did redesign the roof. Well, they tried to improve design. The first roof, 1.0, was made in the beginning with this type of panels which were actually glued to the vehicle by using the same windshield uh, glued which you can find anywhere in your vehicle. So it was pretty hard to remove and they were kind of one-time use. So anytime the vehicle comes in for service and they need to do a rail replacement or something like that, they have to cut them out and throw away. That's cost a lot of money, plus labor-wise. It takes time to cut it off. Now, with 2.1 design, Tesla made improvements, and this one is snap in. So now, you can pretty much remove it without damaging anything. You don't need to cut anything. So that saves time. What kind of things breaks? Let's discuss that. So sometimes your roof gets stuck and you can't open it. Well, there's few reasons why that may happen. You may have a problem with a shoe like this. That's a pretty small shoe. You can get them from Tesla. They're actually sliding on the rail. Why can they get stuck? Well, there could be dirt. There could be some objects, something maybe fall there. So that needs to be inspected, checked and fixed if that's the problem. In some cases, the shoe is basically worn out. It just needs to be replaced. And if, in, in order to replace it, you have to remove the side panels. You have to remove the rear glass. And only then you can slide out cable. We have one, we can show that to you. Panoramic roof is driven by cable like that. The cable slides on the sliders. If a slider's like this, and the cable is actually turned around by the motor. So far, we've seen few problems with the motor. As you can see over here, the gear is damaged. Well, it's not just gear damage. When that happens, the cable will be damaged as well. And the cable needs to be replaced. It's pretty much damaged in a few places. Now, in order to swap, remove the cable, you have to disassemble the roof. 
We have version 1.0. That's a challenge because Tesla doesn't make any more parts like this. The only option for older vehicles is to upgrade. The new roof is pretty expensive. So we got version 2.1 from 2017 Model S. And we tried to take it apart so we can learn, so we can explain to you guys as well how it needs to be done. So first of all, if you have older version and you have to replace that bent cable, you have to remove the side panels. We try to save the side panel and you can do that, but the rubber goes around it will be damaged. And Tesla doesn't sell them anymore. Really, one of you can try to go with aftermarket or just upgrade to 2.1. So let's say we do to remove this. Then you need to cut the rear glass. You can use professional tools and we highly recommend to do that. And um, if you try to do something yourself, maybe you can try to do a wire. You try to use a wire, see if it works. I would say it works really well. We're able to cut the rear panoramic glass all around it, no issues. Now, so we can remove. Right now, pretty much you can slide out the cable. There is enough space in the back and you can just take it out, put the new cable, with new shoes, if needed, with new motor. And of course, you need to clean the rail. If you don't clean the rail, there's things, dirt, objects, they may damage again, cable, motor, or a slide. So make sure you do that. Make sure you, you basically uh, use the proper lubrication for it. Read online, see what's recommended for sandal frails, and that's what I would recommend to use. So now, if you have to replace or you decide to update with the next generation roof, I would say um, you need to remove first the stub cover. On the generation 2.1, um, you can pretty easily remove it if you have the right tools. For example, you can use even the wire to cut it through. So now, we're ready to disassemble it. So, here's a few things. If you have a wire, you can basically insert it like this underneath it through that space. So for the water drain purposes, I guess, Tesla did not use any lubrication in this area or any compound. So it's pretty much a little hole where you, which you can basically use to insert the string. And then you can just slowly go like that all the way. Now, for sides, you have to be careful because they do have this little plastic. That's basically the plastic you use to insert it under the main housing. And that's how it's holed up. So you have to be careful with those. Don't try to rip them, okay? Just try to slowly cut it around. Once it is removed, you need to remove the second panel. In our case, it's generation 2.1. So you can just basically pull it up slowly, put it inside. The only thing left to do is to remove the main roof holder. This housing is actually sitting on the same type of adjectives as your windshield. So there's a few bolts in the back, you need to basically remove them. And after that, it's just sitting on the adjectives. So again, use professional tools. I highly recommend to do that. Or we try a few things again. We try to use the wire, which works great. Or 
a tool like this. Basically, windshield removing knife. You can just put it in the side like this and just go around it like this. Okay? And then you, you, once you cut all the adjectives, all of this glue, you have to go all around it. You can actually lift this up. And there's a few spots I want to show you. So over here, if you can see, let's say we can show it over here. So there's a few spots you have to be careful. You see as it goes like this, all around. And you have to be pretty careful when you cut it over this side. It does have few things, you have to go around them carefully. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can remove sunroof rail and housing all together. So after that, you can upgrade. You can go, if you have the older Model S, you can go with a 2.1 version, works great. But remember, if you do upgrade the housing for the next version, you have to upgrade panoramic glass. It doesn't fit from version one to 2.1 have to have it upgraded. Rear glass as well. You have to make sure it comes from 2.1. And then you can reinstall everything back together. That's how it works.